Rats, food, video games. Three things that have no business being together, but somehow we humans as a species created such a thing. Blame your boy Walt Disney. And yes, he was a racist. <laughs> In this video, I'll be playing Ratatouille, a forgotten game that probably should have never even been created. I'll give my useless thoughts and opinions and crack a joke here and there. Now, playing this game put a lot of stress on my poor little monkey brain, so you subscribing would make monkey happy happy. So go do that, you stinky boy or girl. We don't discriminate around here. The game starts off with a subpar cutscene, and you better not get used to seeing cutscenes because there's nothing but static 3D models from here on out. A short brown man appears, and I think he's like the brother of the villain from the movie. Anyways, he then goes and steals Remy's recipes and saves their for his plans. You, perfect for my plans. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even get what that means. Oh, okay, mister. Anyways, Remy is sad now, and big fat tiny ghost chef gives him knowledge knowledge, and boom, I'm on my way. I spawn in the living room, and honestly, the game looks pretty good. I mean, it's a bit janky, but in a good way. I then get my first task from Chef Man. I'm now exploring the living room. I make my way to the chef and he teaches me how to climb up objects and balance my tiny baby rat legs. The amount of acrobats he was teaching me was insane. I felt as if him and me were to be bonded for life. I was his LaRusso and he was my Miyagi. Anyways, sorry I got a little carried away. But now that I perfected the arts of being a rodent, I visited my father. He might be old, but he's one hell of a rat I tell you. He asked for my assistance, begging me to grab a penny out of reach. I oblige and I I make my way to the penny and deliver it right to him. Then he unscrews the vent. One day, I'll be just like him. We get past the vent, but there's another hurdle interfering with our quest to find my recipes. My father tells me to go get a cork to jam the fan and make it stop doing spinny thing. I then go and look for the cork. Here's where I meet my first enemies, or should I say victims, because they never stood a chance. I return the cork to my father, and then he commands me to go find some gum. I hurry and I'm back in a jiffy, and I do the same thing with the string. Now that my papa rat has all his tools, he builds his contraption and just makes it magically pop into place. Yeah, I could tell the animators got lazy at this part, but never mind that. I spot my recipe pee from afar and I scurry my furry little body across the tightrope and take what's mine. I jump with glee kicking my tiny feet as the first level is now complete. Remy, there's a recipe in this apartment and there's a big dog. Maybe you can distract him to get the recipe. Okay, whoa. Does she think I'm John Wick or something? She really expects me to risk my life for something so tiny as a rest. I make my way around the living room looking for something to distract the dog. I show these nasty bugs a thing or two. I then climb up a heater, jump on this box, and fling my body like a fat man belly flopping. Anyways, I spot my distraction. A big box of dog treats. I push the box over, then the doggo comes charging head on to obtain his Scooby Snacks. Next, I then sneak my way past this behemoth of a creature, but before I go, I give it some tiny little rat punches, and then I'm on my way. The next level of the game, I met my arch nemesis, fucking teen rat. Ooh, what are you supposed to be? A teen titan? Or a teenage mutant ninja turtle? Last time I checked, they're turtles! Anyways, he wants to have a race with me, so I accept because I'm Remy the rat, gosh damn it. We start the race off where we're standing, and I take a sharp left. I spot some boxes in the way, so I take a detour. I then try climbing this pole like a lower class woman dancing in front of angry drunk men. I then climb some boxes, collect the cheese, and make a risky jump. By now I'm getting scared because he's slightly ahead of me. I can't even see him. I'm making my way through a vent. I pop out and thanks to the rat gods, I spot him and he's not too far. I jump over an electric cord, exit the door and swiftly fly past him. I jump the steps hoping I don't break something on the fall. Luckily, I didn't. I make my way to the next room, jump on some crates and boxes, make yet another risky jump. I hop out the window onto some chairs, scoot out to another window and make my way past some trash. I find myself into a maze of some sorts my heart is now racing because i can't even see him at all my hands and face are sweating as i'm playing the game i chase after him scoot in front of him but my fucking character gets stuck on the last exit he runs past me and we both jump the table at the same time <laughs>
<laughs> it was amazing. But you know what else would be amazing? Me earning your subscription. So if you haven't already, scroll down a teeny bit and click that beautiful button. Please can you subscribe to me?